Good morning guys! Today we are going back to the paint shop to look at my BMW E93 M3 Check out on the progress, see what's done, see what's next And yeah, chit chat a little bit with Achun And then call it a day for today's update So now we're in the workshop And then, oh, is this my ugly Okay, yes, it is. So everything's been stripped bare, okay? So this is the car. This is the car here. And then everything that's been taken off the car is now there, taking up one full bay of space for a car. And yeah, let's take a look, walk around. Well, that's the inside. Can you see the inside? Let me shine some light. This looks like a cave, cave car of some sort. Crazy, crazy, horrible looking. Yeah. Wow. This is really detailed work. You know, take out everything. You see all the nuts and bolts are being stripped as well. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So usually when you when you paint your car, especially with Jun, and if you plan to do anything service uh, with your car, for example, you need to get uh, some fault codes clear, you need to change some parts here and there, you better do it after the paint. Right? So you see Jun first or you visit your local dealer first. We recommend seeing Jun. After that, only then you get your car sent to the service center because it's gonna clear all the fault codes, right? So when he attaches everything to the car, the car will basically light up like Christmas tree, saying all these fault codes are not connected, etc. So yeah, that's just a more efficient way to do things. Huh? Okay, cool. Morning, Jun. Morning. Okay. <laughs> So Tano 哦,先噴車身先啊 
人家好像找不到破绽了，尽、啊、量捡到最低。OK OK OK、啊。连喷完全部，再组装，再组装回去啊。啊，组装好，开始要慢慢玻璃墙，抛光了玻璃墙。嗯。OK。那你喷着大点。什么东西？粉的，粉的。哦。切。哈哈哈哈哈哈！这个是啥鱼啊？啊，蛤蟆啊。啊，蛤蟆。那个菜刀完了，火烧了。哦。嗯，菜刀完了。哦哇。嗯。嗯。嗯Guys, so the M3 is going to be sent into the painting studio uh, later on today. We can expect to see the car fully completed around next week, sometime next week. And so this is the car that's going to be sent in. And this is a very very ba bare bones M3 already, lah. Huh? Okay, you can see a lot of unevenness within the paint. Uh, unevenness, unevenness everywhere and there's even two tones of color that we've shown last time so unevenness in the paint you can see especially when you disassemble cars and then you disassemble each individual part for example you see this is very very uneven paintwork right here as well un very very uneven paintwork here as well here as well there's no disassembly done at all here and yeah it's all around uh. you can see the car here as well very uneven paint so that's the type of work that Arjun really really does, dislikes and he, he likes things to be done professionally and, and be done well so these are all the different car parts you have the side skirts you have the bonnet you have the door panels over here the rear bumper over there the front bumper is over there fenders are over there and yeah, so that's the progress. You can see the M3 logo here on the on the front bonnet there as well. So basically, uh, this car will be sent in to the painting studio today. Once that's done, the car will be released back out, and all these individual parts, right, will be sent into painting. And once they are painted, uh, basically they need a two-step painting process one for the front and one for the back right whichever side is going in first the other side needs painting as well it cannot be done uh, together as in 360 degree gets paint no cannot so they need to be done separately or split into two times this takes one time so in total it will take around uh, three rounds of paint lah, three rounds of paint uh, three separate times sending into the studio to paint and then we will uh, they will basically after they paint they'll basically get all the parts out make sure it's all dry then reassemble the car and when they reassemble the car that's when they do the small okay, like chiropractic work uh, huh? realigning the panels to make sure everything is very very neat uh, making sure all the gaps in between the different pieces of metal is very um, very organized and very neat yeah very neatly done no discrepancy between left side right side big gap small gap everything must be very very equal everything must be very um, well put back together so once the assembly process is done they will basically start polishing and detailing the car polish so polishing the exhaust fixing the little stuff for example you see the rear the rear what do you call it the rear boot cover the entry logo was gone then the entry logos at the side 
of the of the car those are old already so it's like yellowish so they will be polishing that and replacing any logos that need to be replaced or any emblems that need to be replaced uh, the fog lamps or the headlights headlights will undergo like they will take out polish make sure it's all sparkling clean then put it back together so a lot of minor minor detail work that they will get done for me and, you know and then yeah after that assembly detail work uh, final round of check and after that final round of check we are able to pick up the car move it back to the workshop Burson Motorsports where we uh, I think all the tools have arrived yes not not tools uh, all the parts all the parts for the M3 that we ordered have arrived so they can begin work immediately that will take around seven to ten days and we can expect to see the E93 BMW M3 done in let's say three weeks and of course there's the interior that needs to be touched up to uh, it's freaking empty right now we are getting the letter done by Atai and Atai will basically update me when everything is done so we move the car to him he assembles it's a one-day job he assembles the interior uh, puts the seat back puts the steering wheel back everything neat perfect and once that's done we are good to go once the workshop is done as well yeah okay so basically there's, there's three three or four things concurrently going on with the m3 la. it's basically a small restoration process uh, that's why it's taking so long i'm changing leathers inside everything as well the upholstery the leather on the steering wheel the uh, door panels i'm changing everything there as well uh, yeah and then the engine is basically going through a small not to say overhaul it's not getting overhauled but it's going through a lot of changes up a uh, lot of wear and tear maintenance items sort of pipes gaskets o-rings vanos rings stuff like this is getting just changed immediately because i don't want to basically lose the car to wear and tear start everything that can be started anew anew and then from there we see what other problems there are that need to be fixed um i have received a lot of uh, encouraging words of advice from fellow team members at horizon as well as readers of horizon and western circle our friends from our car meets and stuff they basically tell me oh you need to change the change the what call it, the rod bearings the corner bearings we we looked at corner rod bearings and basically corner bearings are things that when they spoil it is not instantaneous right there is a point in which they, they have given out, they have worn out and you are able to repair the, the rings at that certain not rings, the corner bearings at that certain point of time before it severely affects your engine and then you have to overhaul the engine so there's this, there's this moment in time between uh, rods have given out and then engine total failure so this is uh, it's not very sudden so basically you can hear it's called cha tao tao right in hokkien we always call it cha tao tao which is like uh, stir frying peanuts right that kind of sound when you hear that basically you have to stop the car get it a uh, flatbed sent to the workshop we change the bearings then because yeah budget issue uh, it's it's really expensive you know it's really expensive i will save that for the next round of service and repairs if nothing comes up yeah if i'm driving it nothing comes up for the next round of service and repairs maybe next year it's july i'm taking the car and maybe last week of july or august so from there i will basically drive it for around six months until the next service interval which i will have saved up enough money to do my conrad bearings so fingers crossed that it will survive six months of driving should be okay lah. germans i hope i hope i hope it's okay but yeah that's the current foundation that's the current plan that we have and super super excited to see the m3 just in the yas marina blue paint oh, it's gonna be so fantastic okay cool
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to us at Horizon Western Circle, iRoll, Kopi Chop Deco, etc., 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 etc. Et 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 and if you want to get your car painted, I'll leave a link to Jun's shop in the description below, along with his phone number, etc. Et uh, be sure to make bookings because you can see that his workshop, whenever we're here, it's always, always, always very, very full. It's a small workshop. They do quite specialized work quite detailed work and that's the quality stuff that I really want to look for and always 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 want to support okay thank you so much uh, without further ado bye bye